go into a box. This is one of the busiest times of the year for the Daily Bread Food Bank. Volunteers by the hundreds descend on the warehouse to help sort and package donated food. This small army of helpers consists of employees from networking giant Cisco and their families as a way to give back. For the fifth straight year, there have been more than a million visits to GTA food banks. While the need has eased slightly in some parts of the city, it's increased in the suburbs. In the, the old city of Toronto, York and East York, some of the need had, had moved down, but just gradually. But then when you got into Etobicoke and Scarborough, what you saw was the numbers just blew up. So it's kind of a redistribution uh, of the need. And then we're knowing in the GTA food banks, uh, you know, in, in Mississauga and, and, and York and Durham, their numbers are higher too. So uh, uh, it's, you know, it's kind of just like fluctuating. It hasn't gone down, it's just moved around. So many donations, so many volunteers, and that's because the need is there. The Daily Bread Food Bank has set its fundraising target this year higher than it ever has before. We set a goal for daily bread of $2.5 million. That's unprecedented for us to be that high. And there's a couple of reasons why. First of all, we know that the need remains high right across the city. And we also know that donations have been down uh, a little bit in November. And so we need to make sure that we meet that goal to fill the, uh, the shelves all through the winter or we'll be having smaller hampers and that's not something we want to do. This is the giving season. It's when people really feel like they want to contribute to the community that that two and a half million dollar goal is, is going to be reached or how difficult do you think it's going to be? <laughs> to, to well, get there. Well, certainly it's, it, it's a stretch, but you know, it's necessary. And I, I think the good news is last holiday season, for the last couple of holiday seasons, people have stepped up and we have reached our goals and they were pretty lofty too. And I, you know, I know that people in our city and people in this region care about their neighbours and so I'm very hopeful that they will come through and make sure that their neighbours have food and just not at the holiday but into January and February. Now, with an event like Sounds of the Season, I mean, how much does that contribute to the awareness that people, for people, that there are other people in need right in their own community and that we need to raise money? It's our, the number one event at this time because it goes on for the whole day and it's a positive event and then it goes on till, till December 31st. It is the number one event that gets that message out. And I think, you know, people have, it, we've seen before that people have responded, and I think they will respond this year as well. And you can do that by coming down to the CBC next Friday for our Sounds of the Season. Remember, all proceeds go to local food banks. Metro Morning starts the day bright and early, live in the Glen Gould studio. And CBC News Toronto will be live at 5 o'clock in the CBC atrium.